Hello everyone, welcome to MP. In this video tutorial series, I show you how to write books and technical reports in LaTeX. So, with no further delays, let's get started. In this video, I will show you how to configure the build system in your LaTeX text editor. This is very helpful because it will save you lots of time and frustration. So far, we have only used Text Studio as our LaTeX text editor. But in this video, I will also use Tech Maker so that you can see that it is not that much different. Here we are at a website where we can download Tech Maker. Downloading and installing Tech Maker is very straightforward, so I'm not going to say much about that. Just choose the right installer for your system and download it. When the download is finished, you can install it, and installation is also pretty simple. Now, TechMaker looks very similar to Tech Studio, and the basic functionality is the same. To open up files, you also just simply drag the file onto your workspace. The file I just opened is the main TEX file that we created in the second tutorial video. If we go to Options and then choose Configure TechMaker, we can change the editor's theme as we want. For now, I'm just going to change it to the dark theme. Then I'm going to change the font type to Arial and also the font size to 12. Now, it should be a little bit easier to read. So all the code you see here is exactly the same as what we had by the end of the previous tutorial video because I just simply opened that file. If we compile it now, we will get an error message. That is because we're trying to build our document using the PDF LaTeX compiler. But in the previous tutorial video, I said that we need to use the XE LaTeX compiler because we are loading the XE CJK package. So similar to Tech Studio, we can go to Options and then choose Configure Tech Maker. Under the Quick Build tab, instead of having PDF LaTeX plus View PDF selected, we choose XE LaTeX plus View PDF. Now we can quick build our document. The XE LaTeX compiler will be used to build our documents before displaying the PDF file. As a result, our document will be successfully built and we will have no more errors. But if we scroll up to the top of our document, where we have our table of contents, list of figures and list of tables, you'll see that nothing is displayed in those tables. The reason for that is because we need to compile the file a second time. The files containing the data for those tables need to be updated and that is achieved by compiling a second time. Now after the second compilation, our document is complete. This is now exactly the same PDF file as we had at the end of the previous tutorial video because we just compiled the exact same code. However, whenever we create our document, we will always have to build it twice if we want a complete table of contents, list of figures and list of tables. This will become very annoying and time consuming. To avoid having to go through that frustration, we can just modify our build system. Here under the Quick Build tab in the Configure Tech Maker window, we can make our own user-defined Quick Build command. Click on User and then open up the wizard. Here we can add any number of commands we want carried out. The order in which your commands are added from top to bottom is the order in which they will be executed. So since we are using the XE LaTeX compiler, we add two XE LaTeX commands. After those two commands, we just add the PDF viewer command. Now you can just click on OK and the new configuration will be set. Now, with one click of the Quick Build button, our code will be compiled twice with the XE LaTeX compiler and then our document will be displayed in the PDF viewer. And our document will always have a complete table of contents in it. 
our document will take a little bit longer to be built because of it being compiled twice, but that is a very small price to pay for the added convenience. We can also do the same thing in Tech Studio. Go to Options and then choose Configure Tech Studio. Under the Build tab, we have our default compiler set as XE LaTeX. And then next to Build and View, we click on the Configure icon to configure Build and View. Now we already have two commands. We have the default compiler command followed by the default viewer command. Remember that the default compiler command is set to XE LaTeX. So we just simply want to add another default compiler command before the default viewer command so that we have two compilations before the document is displayed. You can click on the up or down arrows to change the order of the commands because remember, they will be executed in order from top to bottom. When you are done, you can just click on OK and the new configuration will be set. Back in TechMaker, we can further edit the editor's theme. In the Configure TechMaker window under the Editor tab, we can change some of the colors of the text and backgrounds of our code. I'm setting the color scheme to be similar to the one I made in Tech Studio. One last thing I want to show is that you can also change the TechMaker interface language. Simply go to Options and under Interface Language, there are several languages you can choose from. For example, you can choose Chinese and then when you restart TechMaker, the interface language will be in Chinese. So that's it for this tutorial. In this video, I mostly used TechMaker, but for the rest of this tutorial series, I will mostly be using Tech Studio because it provides you with more options and customizability, making it a bit more convenient to work with. Later in this tutorial series, we are going to dabble around a bit more with the build system, but for now, the current configuration is sufficient. I will also put the link where you can download TechMaker in the description below this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.